Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie and welcome back to the homestead. Well guys, it's a nice beautiful day out here onto the east coast of North Carolina and John and I are at it again. John is starting the end wall and I'm going to probably be putting some, trying to put some carriage bolts in and working on the side wall but we are progressing on this greenhouse. Yes, I had some problems on the side wall again yesterday because the poles are not um, at the measurements they're supposed to be. Of course, it's not my problem. My, my um, was it my, I want to say, uh, how can I say it? I'm not the one that did it. That's how, that's how I can say it. And John, and John didn't do it. It was actually the guy before. As you'll see in the previous video, on how to build a low side wall greenhouse. If you check that video out, we appreciate it so much. But you know, when you're going back doing other people's work and it's not done right and you're trying to make it right, it becomes very, very difficult. But nevertheless, we are on our way with this greenhouse with this nice, beautiful day. So guys, stay tuned. Uh, watch for the upcoming clips that's coming after this on the low side wall green house with roll up size is going to be awesome and also there's another because the low side wall was not measured correctly it cut me two inches short which now has messed up me putting my fan here above the door so i've got to put it on the side i had well planned and well thought out about how to do this greenhouse but you know just like any building instruction or construction should i say if you get just a half inch off to two inches off, you're in trouble down the road. And it's, in other words, it's got to be squared up. But nevertheless, John is helping me get this greenhouse on the road or on the road. It's a R O W. We're going to have some beds in this greenhouse soon. Okay, John, let's get to work. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
this is that um, exhaust fan, trying to find out, and not a blowing fan, and it's not going up there, and we're going to put it right here. So, the purpose of this fan is to pull the hot air out of the uh, greenhouse or low sidewall tunnel and then have uh, one on the other side. So we're going to go approximately right about right there and build a, a frame. So take this. This is our measurements. And then down. I see where I got to lose my frame. So that's what that's what it's going to be, and that's it. So guys, we are putting in. I thought these were blowing fans. I was going to have one at one end, one at the other end, blowing to keep that air circulating. Which I have a chicken, uh, old farm chicken uh, house fan, which might be too much for this greenhouse. But this is the fan that we're going to be putting in. It's an exhaust fan. So we're going to put one at, on this end. And what it's going to do is uh, it's electric. So it's also temperature control. So these are going to be opening up as, at a certain temperature and exhaust that, fan, that heat out of there. And so there's going to be one at the other end. And so what we're doing, what we've been doing here is that to figure out where I want to put this fan at because originally I was going to have it above the door up there. And so it's a very, if it had been above the door, just have to, you know, add a couple boards and that'd been it and just put it up and frame it up there and that'd been it. Well, this is not going to be too hard because all it's going to take is just cutting a couple two by fours, framing it in and then screwing this in. Now I had to think this out because of the plastic, the wiggle wire coming, the plastic coming down, you got the wiggle wire on top, but also I had to consider how this is going to be covered, how the plastic was going to go around it. So decided to put a frame, a two by four frame around it. Then what I'm going to do is take and put the wiggle wire in there. Uh, the plastic is going to be coming over the end wall here to the wood part and then with wiggle wire all the way around it. And then at this area where this is gonna be framed in at, I'm just gonna cut an X. That's gonna open that plastic up. And then the plastic will go in the frame, the wiggle wire holding the plastic in around this fan. So the same step is gonna be done at the other end wall. And uh, so we can see the, this end wall, uh, here is already done. Very simple technique. Piece of plywood, a couple two by fours. I took and put some carriage bolts on the other side, screwing into the two by four from the pole on the outside end that secure that. But as far as the end walls, it's really simple. Just two by fours. Uh, I ba basically, yeah, just basically, it's just four two by fours. Cut your piece of plywood, you screw it in, done. So now, like I said, the next step is just taking, taking some two by fours, coming up, framing this in, and it's gonna look beautiful. Over here on this side of the end wall, uh, over here on this side of the end wall, try to get back to work here, but um, it's the, board, the wood's gonna be done the same way, but on this section up here, we're going to put a frame there besides it having a fan. I'm going to put a small air conditioner in there so that if it gets too hot in there, just cut that small air conditioner. I already have one sitting in the shed, not being used. So I'm going to put it to use at the other end of the end wall. We're just going to put one of these uh, fans up. And then I have a non-electric shutter that I got last year. And I'm just going to have it framed in and, and it's stuck in there. And you manually just take it, open it up with your hands. And so with the exhaust fans going on both ends and that opening is going to help pull the heat out of this greenhouse and and with the ac it should do fine okay guys we got to get back to work i am taking too much time videoing but this was so good um we want to catch give this part to you not just show you pictures 
but to show you how we're going to do this. All right, this is Cami at Never Alone Homestead. If you like this video and other upcoming videos and the past videos on how to build a low sidewall greenhouse, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.